They're inside of it. Oh, it's so weird being in a different target. It's not mine. Lay out the same for the most part. Um, let's see. The collectible section. I think we want to hit that up first before we hit the toys. Um. Got vinyl records. Ooh, thanks, Knocker. This right here. I wonder if I wanna. I need that on clearance. But yeah, they got a good amount of vinyl. That's good. Here we go. This is what we're here for. Alrighty. What are we gonna find? As is. 1609. I do not have this. And it's not open, so that'll be going home with me now. That was quick. Red shirt. Oh, boar. That's old. Oh my god. The first time I've ever seen this in person. Dude, that's cool. Pretty cool. GameStop. What are we going to find here? Oop, Hollow's Eve. Magneto. Doom. Superpower. Grief Karga. Cad Bane. New Adventures. Not much. Executioner. Which I've never seen in store. Ooh, that is quite Man. Here we go. Tons of wrestlers. Oh, that's cool. Christian Cage. Diablo. That does look like Christopher Walken, actually. That's pretty good. That is actually pretty good. Sonic, Star Wars, Gaming Graves, Darth Maul. I don't think I've seen any of these ever until today. TVC, Finn, Director Orson Krennic. Not sure what's going on with me. Oh. Han Solo. Hmm. Ewoks. Alright, what else we got? Skull ship. D. 
What's up guys, T3 Collects here. I am in Marysville, California, and I'm gonna go head into this comic and toy shop. And uh, I've never been here, so I figured we want, since I'm here in this town, just dropping off my brother to the airport on my way back, I figured I'd check out some places. So I looked up comic shops, toy shops, and this was one of them. So let's go in here and see what they got. This place is freaking awesome. Yo, he's gonna be back here. Look at all this stuff. You know the old school game? Yeah. Okay. Not bad, girl. Look at all this stuff. So much good stuff. And this isn't even everything. I mean, there's so much in here that it's kind of overwhelming a little bit. Honestly, there's a New Adventures, Harley Quinn, that's freaking awesome. Um, what else? I mean, look at all these old Transformers. And then they have stuff just all over the place. A lot of action figures, like just everything, Legos, Star Wars, Halo, I mean, look at all this, this is phenomenal, look, all this, this is nuts, alright, let's keep looking, Transformers, it's just Gobs and gobs of freaking wrestling. Wow. Iron Giant. Oh, what is this? Spawn, future spawn. Here's a sting. Wow. Masters of the Universe collector case back there. Oh, wow. I, it's hard to keep my eyes on everything. But I try to do the best I can filming in this tiny store. That is amazing. Uh, a lot of Spawn stuff. A lot of Marvel Legends up front. There's the Transformer X-Men collab. We've got Bad Rock from... Youngblood, we have Attack Spawn, wow, a lot of old school Simpsons, <laughs> this is awesome, that Spider-Man, I don't know what that is, but we're going to take a look, oh we got Shaft, oh um, what Spider-Man is this, oh look at that, that thing is beautiful, That is amazing. Bells from the Crypt Keeper. Wow.
so much stuff. Oh yeah, that's good. Cool. That Secret that Wars, Doctor Doom. Oh, 
Come wrestlers, Big John Stud and Hulk Hogan. All right, game stop. They actually called me, so that's cool. Let's go into the guy. What a nerd. Stuff. Good stuff. And then we have Chrysanthemum, Finn, Catskin Angler, Phase 1 Clone Trooper, Good, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Alright, so I did pick up. A couple of things. So, first off, the man collects. What up, dude? This is my second jack o' lantern. I know you told me you have one coming, but I just wanted to tease you and let you know that I got another one. And that's not all. Also, found the platinum edition Catwoman sitting there on the peg. Wish I would have filmed before I picked it up and told my dude to hold it. But pretty solid pickup so far for today. Keep on going. All right, cards. Been looking for Marvel, which I'm gonna have to send this to somebody. Um, and look at that. They finally got these cards. It's about freaking time. I got four in total. So I'm gonna grab probably two and open these. I don't know which two yet though. Anyway, back to the toy hunt. And look what I found. Mecha Holophon. Not everything, but this is freaking awesome. This is tempting. Right here. Right here, this is super tempting. Oh, that's so freaking cool. And then we got the four pack. Which is also pretty cool. Which is not into turtles. You can go here. But, pretty cool. This is suit and foot soldier split. That's actually cool. And then back to stock and wheat, guard, and Kirby, all in one shot. And then we got Adventures of Samurai Usagi, which is cool. Michelangelo. God, these are freaking rad. Alright, we got more tour hunting to do. And then, oh, we got a Batman and a Joker and Riddler still. Dang, I was hoping they would restock the. Uh, Gordon, maybe? Oh well, probably gonna be a minute before they do that. They did restock, I did see this today. They just restocked freaking black light Deadpool. Obviously for the movie. It was cool. <clears throat> um, and then that Captain Marvel, that should have been clearanced out by now. So they are actually stocking finally here. Well, it took him forever. And still no... Uh, I can't remember what came out this week. There's something that came out I wanted to grab. It'll come to me. Anyway. We got a toy hunt. Alright. So we got... Starscream. Junk heap. Scrap heap. I don't know why it's a junk heap. So these are actually uh, new. Newish Transformers. Pretty dang cool. Not much still. Same old multiverse. No new GI Joes. And imagine that. Kamala Khan has made it back on the peg. That seems strange. And I believe this is now like eight bucks. So we're gonna check that. We're gonna check that. 
Let's go do some more toy hunting. All right, here we go. Hey, look at that. I think the last one I found yesterday was stolen. Right features, which are now non-exclusive to Target. You can buy them at GameStop, Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, all those places. Oh, here's a new Star Wars guy. This is now $13.99. I did check it. And no new tutorials of Gray Skull yet. But everything else looks literally the same. And uh, yeah, look at the travesty of uh, how well it's just decimated. Uh, they got some new pullbacks, so I'm gonna have a look through those. And uh, this place, Spider Man. That is it. So after this, I have to go to Walmart return something. I don't know if I'm gonna film there because it's been so bad. But if there's something new there, I will. If not, you'll probably see me next at a vinyl record shop that carries VHS and DVDs. Cart. Well, whatever. Um, this. $13.99 now. Alright, we're here at my next destination. On the search for the Crow VHS. Well, found something I've been looking for because I can't find mine. More, 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 and more hunting to go along here. What's up guys, back home from traveling to drive off my brother, the airport, and the long day of toy hunting, which was awesome. It was so much fun to get out of my town and toy hunt other areas. And I can tell that the bigger cities definitely have a lot of things I don't see, a lot of the same stuff I see. Definitely a lot of scalpers because there wasn't very much, but I did see a lot of good stuff. It was good to visit uh, Five Below. Haven't been to Five Below in a long time. And yeah, I picked up some stuff this week. I have posted on Instagram, but some stuff I have not. So first, let's get into Silva's Collectibles and Comics. This place is in a little town called Marysville, California, Northern California. It's about 45 minutes from Roseville, um, which is just outside of Sacramento. And um, I wanted to see if that town had anything remotely in the collectible area. And this was pretty close to where I was getting uh, Starbucks. So I figured, what the heck, why not? And man, did that place not disappoint? Like, you guys saw the video. It is freaking amazing. Um, yeah, things are a little high because they're only shop. They're independent, they're a small shop, that place is pretty small. So that's why I didn't do a lot of talking, I just wanted to film and uh, kind of give you guys the I, the feeling of how small that place was, I guess. Um, the owner's daughter, I can't remember her name now, she um, kind of told me more about the uh, place that her parents have owned it for a long, long time and they're considering moving into a bigger spot because they just have too much stuff and uh it like you saw in the video like there's stuff stacked on top of each other that i couldn't even get to film uh, a lot of it that you could see so yeah that place was nuts i definitely need to go back because there's things that i would like to pick up um they had vintage turtles from like i don't know how long ago star trek uh, on card um not even yellowed there was the original real ghostbuster fright features there was 
Um, on a, there's just so much stuff. Tons of Marvel Legends, Star Wars, Transformers, wrestling, loose figures. I could have been in there forever, but I was on a time crunch to get back home to do this toy hunt video editing. Anyway, definitely go check them out. I'll link their Instagram down in the description. Also, if you could see, I think I showed this last time. So, Entertainment Earth, link down in bio, order some stuff, helps the channel out. Got there, got that. Well, let's see, you guys can see, I got two of that one and the other one, um, $24.99 when they had the uh, pricing error. So they honored it, which is awesome. So kudos to you, Entertainment Earth. Link down in the description, order, order, order. Also, you guys, Please order some T3 Collect merch. It does help the channel. It's going back into the channel. Also, go sub to No Show Podcast, first podcast, official episode number one, this Saturday. Um, Saya and I are skipping Vegas Toy Con. One, I can't go. I really wanted to go. But we're saving up all this time of me trying to go to these big things for SoCal Gaming Expo, which I will be there. Ticket is booked. Plane ticket. Done. So, that's out of the way. Super excited for that. So, if you're going to be in the LA area for that, come find him and I. We're going to have special stickers to give away, and we'll probably interview um, while we're there. So, that'd be cool. So, yeah. Pick up some merch. We'll have no show merch. Um, all that later coming. But yeah, anything to do to help the channel, the better. So I appreciate you guys. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into the toy haul. All right, guys. Welcome to the toy haul mail portion of this toy hunt. So, in preparement of this mess that I've got here, I'm trying to think, did I pick up any? I did pick up one item when I was in... Um, the I'm trying to think Yuba City Target, and that was this. Doesn't have a build a figure piece, but the sad thing about me that it's crazy is I'm a completionist. So, even though I, I think I only seen a few of these um, Marvel Legends in my stores locally, this says 1609, um, but. She gave it to me for 609 because the box was ripped open and uh, she didn't want me to open it there. And she, the line was long. She was like, I'll just give you for 609. I was like, perfect, cool. So I got that for 609. I'm still on the hunt for Karnak, Marvel Boy, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, and Marvel's Photon. So if I can get this for a deal, even better. So got that at the Yuba City. Target, um, there wasn't really that much there that I already hadn't seen. I did see, though, the Andre the Giant uh, WWE Legend there. That was cool. Didn't pick it up. Left it there for another collector. Um, hopefully, Scalper didn't grab that. So, if they did, that sucks. But, that wasn't it. I did pick up one more, uh, one other item. And that was at, I'm trying to remember, the Oroville. Oroville. Um, Walmart, which you saw in the prior video. I did buy the Sandman. I ended up returning it because after tax, it was like almost $20. So that got returned. Um, luckily, Amazon and Walmart.com all have it on clearance for 17 bucks. So ordered it to save myself like 10 bucks. So it's all about the savings. We're collectors. We got to save money to buy the stuff. Anyway, that is not all that I got. All right, and then on the following day, so that was Saturday, so Sunday, I took my son, we went to Target. I just, I knew that they were gonna have the Spider-Man uh, wave up. Was it Sunday? Monday, my bad, Monday. Sunday was Easter, so su Monday morning, we went. Um, I went there to look for the Spider-Man stuff, the Holothon stuff. They didn't have the Holothon stuff. Or the Spider-Man stuff out, or any Transformers. So I asked my boy. Luckily, he was there. So appreciate you. I'm not gonna name him because I don't want to get him in trouble. 
Thanks for helping me out, but you know who you are. Um, so Scarlet Spider is now in the collection. So we're almost done with this wave and I'm almost have two of every one of them. Um, so my son did, did get the transformer. I don't remember what it is again, but Instagram, go look at that. I posted on Instagram, so it's there. So he was pretty stoked to get that because I pre-ordered that damn transformer and literally the same day they canceled it because they didn't have any more in stock. Who Go figure for pre-order. Literally, it went up, I pre-ordered it, checked out, and then they don't have any stock, so whatever. But luckily, we got it in store, so that was good. Um, next few items I had picked up from... One I got from Amazon, and one from Walmart, one, two from GameStop, three things from Target, and a few things from a local vinyl record shop so let's get into those all right amazon so this is what i got from amazon that i've been waiting for <laughs> for freaking ever it kept getting delayed i thought they were going to cancel it uh another scarlet spider so now i have two one to open one to keep on car so yep i'm doubling up on the spider-man line i'm going to going forward any retro cards uh i'm gonna just get doubles now um these things are becoming harder and harder to find. X-Men Wave 1. I don't think i even seen the full wave ever. Um, yeah, I didn't see the full wave. I've seen Wolverine once and I didn't have the money to pick it up. kind of wish I did now. Uh, but he's the only one I haven't seen and, and a full wave. Uh, but yeah, X-Men Wave 2 is now discontinued at Target, GameStop. You can still pick them up online. I think at GameStop, Amazon, and... Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. You can still pick them up. Link down in the description. Entertainment Earth or Amazon. Um, so, yeah. Two of the Scarlet Spiders. Um, but, yeah. Let's kind of get into what I got at GameStop. All right. GameStop. Even though I already took this out, because I already have one, I got jack o -Lantern, Opened him up. He's a freaking awesome figure. Uh, my GameStop guy called me. He was like, hey, the Scarlet Spider uh, you are waiting for came in, and I got a jack o -Lantern. Not sure if you wanted it. I'm gonna put it aside. So when I walked in, I was like, actually, I got a double. I have two Scarlet Spiders. I don't need another one, but I do want that Jack O' Lantern. And he's like, okay. So I got that. Went around the corner and seen the new Batman. That is a, I believe it's a technically a fan channel, even though they don't call it fan channel exclusive. Um, the Arkham Asylum Batman with the gold. That thing looked hella nice, hella nice. Um, but behind it, which I was not expecting, was the Platinum Edition Catwoman. So I went ahead and picked it up. I know I said I'm out of the McFarlane line of DC Multiverse figures, but if it's Batman related, I'll probably pick it up depending on if I like it or not. So I had to get this a Platinum. You don't leave the Platinums behind. I mean, and this thing was harder than hell to find. So. Picked that up at GameStop. Picked up Jack Lantern. If you haven't found Jack Lantern, you should pre-order from Entertainment Earth. Down link down in bio because that thing is starting to become harder and harder to find already. Scarlet Spider will probably be next. I've seen Scarlet Spider on eBay for already over hundred bucks. So if you can find them, grab them now before you have to go on eBay or Macari, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, next. Uh, let's see. Let's get it, uh, yeah. We'll do Target. Alright, Target. So, these I've been looking for. You've seen in the videos I've been talking about them. I know Art has, I think, got a few boxes of these. So, I was able to finally find the Marvel trading cards. So, this is the Marvel Platinum trading cards. So... And I also got one more. So now, oops, I have three boxes to open, which I'll be doing. I don't know if I'm going to do it as a video. I might just open them. Um, but yeah, super been super hard to find these things. I'm glad I found them. There's actually one more there. I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to go with the three for now. So yeah, that's what I picked up at Target the other day. All right, and the last couple items. Uh, I went to my local... Vinyl record shop, which carries 
CDs, obviously vinyl. They have some VHS, a lot of Blu-ray, and I actually was only on going there for on a came to talk for one purpose was to find the Crow VHS. I do not have that anymore. I missed out on it at another record shop in my town. They had one sealed. And I missed out on it. I should have just bought it then. It was during Christmas. So, you know, can't really buy myself stuff when it's Christmas time. I mean, I could, but didn't really want to. Wanted to save that 25 bucks for my kids or my wife. So I went for that. I went to find the CD, the laser disc, and came out with just one of those things for three bucks, which is pretty good. I got the Crow soundtrack on CD. I own this I cannot find it I have the soundtrack for the first one City of Angels and Salvation cannot find them uh, right there right up there you can see I have the score for the first and second one but I just could not I cannot find my original CD for the last three or this one like I said City of Angels and Salvation so I saw it there three bucks They're not gonna complain for three dollars uh, even on Amazon, this is expensive used. So, three bucks, not not going to complain. And then I was looking through the Blu-rays, and I was like, you know what? This is Brandley. I, I actually do like this movie. It's pretty cheesy, but I found a freaking showdown in Little, Little Tokyo for five bucks. And I'm not even sure if I own this on Blu-ray or not. I know I have it on uh, DVD, or I may have. Uh, I don't know if I have it on Blu-ray. If I do, I'll probably give this away. Uh, fantastic, cheesy, 90s buddy cop film. Um, Brandon Lee is best. This is what I believe, I feel like, started to get him more noticed. And then he did Rapid Fire, and then The Crow, and then we kind of know what happened from there. But yeah, um, yeah, definitely going to watch this probably today. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is such an awesome movie. I remember watching this when I was younger, and... Uh, there's some nudity in this mo in this movie. My mom freaked out. So, what can you say? Anyway, that's what I got at the uh, lo my local vinyl shop. Pretty cool. And you guys know I'm in physical media. You guys know I'm a big Crow fan. You guys know I'm a big Brandon Lee fan. So, if I can find it, I'm going to buy them. Uh, I need them for the collection. <clears throat> Eventually, I'm going to have a... Uh, whatever they... The new Detolf from uh, Ikea. I'm going to have... One of those back here. I'm going to put all my crow stuff in here. Thus, that will go in there. This will not. Um, but yeah, and that 4K is coming out May 7th. So I'll be getting that from Amazon. And then I got to buy the Walmart exclusive at Walmart because it's sold out. Anyway, last couple things. And it's kind of funny that they're, <laughs> they're the same character but different. Anyway, uh, let me grab those. All right, so this next item came from my good old buddy Yukon Phil so it says right there Yukon Phil so thank you buddy for getting this for me he found and picked up this Dark Phoenix it's out of the box or the retro card I already have it on card but I want another one to open because like I said I'm going to try to get as many of the retro card figures X-Men Spider-Man the new Iron Man wave. Uh, I'm going to try to get doubles of them so I can open one up and keep one on card. So he was able to get this for me. So I appreciate you. Love you, dude. Thanks for helping me out. And uh, I got some Star Wars stuff coming your way. And then the last thing I got, which is also Gene Grey, gosh, uh, related, I did pick up another Gene Grey from X-Men 97. So this one will come off card. And be opened for the X-Men display that will eventually happen. All I need is Executioner and Magneto, which the Magneto I have seen at my GameStop multiple times. And Executioner, I've known, I don't think I've seen it once in my town. I saw it um, at a GameStop, maybe two GameStops on the last video. And I kicked myself for not order, or picking that up. I don't know. Um, but I, I know I could get it off Entertainment Earth, so I'm not too worried about it. And Amazon. So, yeah, that is the haul from last Toy Hunt video that I wanted to just put into this last video. Because this one's more about Silva's collectibles and comics. And, yeah, if you guys are ever in California, Northern California, DM me, hit me up. 
on Instagram. We can go toy hunt that place, film. They are cool with filming, uh, super nice people. On the other side is the comic book shop, and they have a bunch of knives and swords. I did go in there and did not film. Um, it's even smaller, and they have comic book long boxes, short boxes, all over the floor, so it was very hard to move around there. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you guys all for continuing to support me. Um, let's get this video to a thousand views or more. Make sure you hit that like button, thumbs up the video, and that is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you maybe Saturday with another video. And No Shield Podcast, Episode 1, official Episode 1, Saturday night, 945. So we'll see you then. Until next time, keep on hunting and enjoy life. Decide I make go of your hair like Michelangelo I got my shirt off in this hoe like I'm D'Angelo You got that whack shit in your playlist, this the antidote My bitch is bad as fuck, got two kids sipping, yeah, she smoke Decide I make go of your hair like Michelangelo I got my shirt off in this hoe like I'm D'Angelo You got that whack shit in your playlist, this the